Hi, today I'd like to do a product talk about Molotel markers. These are chrome marker pens that we have sold in the store for a number of years. And sometimes when you have a really good product, you take it for granted that everyone knows about it. So they're sitting up on the shelf waiting for people to take them home and use them. And maybe in some cases you've never heard of this thing or you don't know how good it is. So it's my job or my goal today to tell you about them and hopefully get you to try them out yourselves. Molotel markers, of course, as the name says, are a paint marker and they come in a bunch of different sizes. The smallest size is a one millimeter tip. The most common one I find is the two millimeter tip. There is a four millimeter tip for larger jobs and we even go up to a five millimeter tip. So you can actually paint on this stuff with this. Maybe if you're doing fire trucks or things with uh, metal tread plates or uh, tractor trailer rigs that have those big chrome uh, stacks and gas tanks and stuff, this may be the way to go for you. Now I understand this stuff can be decanted. In fact, they make a refill size uh, about the size of this marker that's just the chrome paint and you can airbrush this and you can get some fantastic uh, finishes doing that. I personally have not tried that. I would invite you to put in the comment section if you have and how you liked it and how it worked out for you. So I'm going to show you a few uh, application techniques with this uh, product and then you can make up your own mind if it's right for you. So for my little demonstration, I have a, uh, uh, an old model body of a 57 Chev that I never finished. I actually painted it badly, I stripped it down, always meaning to get back to it and just never did. So for my car and truck models, I typically use the one millimeter marker and the two millimeter marker. Now the one millimeter marker, you know, being one millimeter is very small tipped. Now I find it very useful for doing instrument bezels and scripts on vehicles, little things like the, the key lock. You know, that tip is small enough I can get it in there. I can go around. It doesn't leave a lot of paint. So you find yourself, you may be, you know, scratching it a bit. But let it flow. It will flow. I did around the back there, around the that sculpting. It's also very good for instrument bezels, for doing the outlines of the circles and whatnot. Um, here's another body. You've got the script on the back. On here. So with a careful hand, I'm rushing it for this video, but with a careful hand, you know, you can go over these race scripts and hit them pretty effectively. Again, I'm rushing this for the video. Now the two millimeter marker is probably my go-to one most of the time. With it in a steady hand, you can free form around the chrome edges. Again, I'm rushing this thing. I'm sorry, I'm not steady and I'm on camera. But you blast that thing around. You can see how chromey it appears. At least I hope you can. At the end of the video I have some pictures of some models that I've done and actually took my time and did properly and I'll insert them in so you can see what kind of job these things really do. Now on this one I took my handy uh, Tamiya masking tape which is always my go-to masking tape and I taped up and down the body line that chrome line that runs along the back panel here on the 57 so having masked it I then take my marker run it along like so. There I have it done. Give it a second or two to set up. Peel off your paint. Boom. There's your line. I think you'll go to love this stuff so much as I do. You won't use bare metal foil again. This is fast. It's easy. The chrome effect is very striking. I have had occasions where by painting on with the marker you seem to get a little bit of stroke marks. I found that they've self-leveled and pretty much disappeared when they're dry.
So don't be afraid. Don't keep going over it. Just leave it. Let it do its thing. And then if you have to touch up or do something later, go for it. But do your initial. I'm hoping you can really get a look at how chromey that is. Anyways, that's basically it. Um, as another word, uh, I've had these markers for some time, probably a couple of years. And I just picked them up this morning and picked them up and used them no problem so they didn't dry up. Uh, sometimes a little shake and a little pump to get them started. But uh, these didn't even need that. They started flowing right away. One other thing of note, it's one little problem we have with this product. If you look at the marker, there's a line here. And that appears where the cap ends and where you would take it off. This is not the case. The cap line is actually under a security seal tape. Remove the tape, remove the cap. Do not try to pry this apart on what seems the natural line. You will explode the marker, cause a mess, and there's nothing to be done for it. So that's my one safety tip about using Molotow markers. As always, I hope you found this video to be helpful and maybe it opened your eyes to a new product or an idea you could try. And as always, uh, links to the products are at the bottom of the video, links to our merchandise, and a link to our e-newsletter. We would encourage you to sign up for our e-newsletter, find out all the latest goings on and happenings at our store. Thank you for watching. If you would like to comment on a video you would like to see or something you'd like us to produce or talk about, by all means, we would accept your suggestions. We would love to do something of interest to yourself personally. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.